Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about robot brains. Around a year ago I showed you Jetson Nana and this is really a good candidate for the robot brain, but now Nvidia produced even better candidate. This one, ha 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 ha. It's a little bit more expensive, the box is bigger and it's way way better. The good thing about it is that it's specially made for the artificial intelligence applications. In order to make our robot arm smart, I'm going to use this one. And if you wanna go with the cheaper solution, you can always still use the Jetson Nano. We have also power supply and power cord. I think this is why this box is uh, way bigger. Let's open this box. This is our power supply and what we have here. And here is the Jetson Xavier NX. Also we have the quick start guide. I think this is quite simple, so not interesting. And this is our board. Haha, -ha, it's beautiful. The computer itself is super tiny. For the comparison I have here the Jetson Nano, so we can quickly check uh, the sizes, if it's the same or not. So from this point of view it's the same, from this side it's the same, from the width it's the same, except that Jetson Xavier is mounted on this plastic piece which also holds two antennas for the Wi-Fi module. And there is no Wi-Fi on Jetson Nano. Connector-wise it's also the same, it has the same layout. I can check this with this piece which I 3D printed for the Jetson Nano and it fits perfectly the Jetson Xavier. The slot for the SD card at the same place. It also has a GPIO connector, possibility to connect two cameras over here. So this means that if you developed uh, some case for Jetson Nano, it should also work for the Jetson Xavier. Except that these pins, they are a little bit shifted on the side. And also for this one, you should think about if you want to implement it in your own case, where to put these two antennas. One thing which you should pay attention is that these two connectors for the power supply are the same, but you need to have different power supplies for them. Like for example, for the Jetson Nano, you need to have 5 volts maximum power supply. A Jetson Xavier accepts the voltage from 9 to 19 volts. So you need higher voltage for the Jetson Xavier if you power it up through this connector. And by the way, over here on the back there is a connector for the power button, for the reset and also for the serial. And over here there is a connector for the CAN bus. Let's install SD card, connect the power supply, connect the keyboard, connect the screen and see how it works. Let's switch on the power. This one is on, this one is on and this one too. License agreement. Yes, English please. Still English. Wi-Fi is connected. Where are you? Zurich. Close enough. Name Scientific. And again password Scientific. Up partition size. Ha! Have no idea. Or leave it blank to use the maximum size value. Aha! Uh -huh, this is me. Yay! Our goal is to test if this supercomputer is good for the robot arm and for the robot itself. And what the robot needs? Robot needs eyes. And this is gonna be the eyes of my robot. So this is a depth camera, it can see in 3D. Meaning that it can see the object and it also can detect the distance to this object. Let's see if we can connect this camera to the Jetson Xavier NX. Over here there is possibility to change power mode, so you can go to the 15 watts power or 10 watts power and you can choose 2 cores, 4 cores or 6 cores of the CPU. In order to install the software for the RealSense camera, I'm going to follow the steps from this GitHub page. This is a GitHub page from the Intel RealSense. I already did all of this, so we can just go to the terminal, take our camera. So this is the camera, this is D435. And now we need to launch a RealSense viewer. And here is our camera, and so we can look at the RGB camera. So this one off, and now let's look at the stereo module. So depth camera, ho ho, you see? So this color, it represents the distance to the object, to the different pixels. Cool, so this is works, and this is two at the same time. Also, our robot would need to position itself in the space. If it's mobile robot, it's need uh, just to position itself. And if it's robot arm, we would need to know where the end effector of this robot arm is. For this we're going to use inverse kinematics, but in order to test this we can use a tracking camera. And by chance I have one. So this is a tracking camera from the RealSense. The name is T265. 
it looks like this. Let's connect it and see if we can use it. Tracking module on. We have two cameras, one another one. Acceleration, gyroscope and pose. Pose is most interesting, so I'm gonna maximize it. And uh, you see, it tracks the position of this camera. I think for this it uses IMU and also the feed from two cameras. And uh, with the slam technique, it can find out exact position of the camera. There is another way of viewing it. So if we go ding, 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 square. And now we go here. And we do another square. And you see, it's two squares. Exactly as we move it. This is magic. I'm really happy that it was easy to set up. We can connect even two cameras at the same time. And so we have a depth camera and the tracking camera. And all of this working together. Yeah, from time to time it gives error, but uh, nevertheless it works. This is cool. Let's now test that we can run robot simulation on this supercomputer. For this I will try per bullet. I already made a video about it some time ago. And I follow this video to install everything needed, which was super simple. And now let's launch uh, Python 3. So Python 3 is here. We need to import PyBullet, some other modules. Yeah, let's go up to here. Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and this is RobotArm. Cool. Now let's run the simulation. Bloop. And so in the next one, we will fix this base. Da -da -da -da. It works. With this PyBullet module, we can identify collisions, like self-collisions of the robot arm, and also we can calculate forward and inverse kinematics. So it will be useful. As a next step, let's see what we can do in terms of AI with this computer. And the easiest way to start is this webpage of NVIDIA, Today's to a Demo, which gives link to this GitHub page, to the Hello AI world. So I followed this tutorial and I went till the object detection, which I think is really important and interesting for the robotics. And object detection I'm going to test with this camera. So this is RealSense D435. We already use it. This is the depth camera, but here we're going to use it as a normal camera. So I know that the address of this camera is uh, Dev Video 2. So it can detect me easily, no problem. So here's the position of the object. And it detects scissors, keyboard, and sometimes cup. I think the problem is that this cup is white. With this object detection, we can find the object. We can find its position in the 2D image from the camera. But also, because this is a depth camera, we can find the distance to this object. And this is just perfect for our robot, because like this, we know all three coordinates of the object. I have both 3D printers working, and they make a lot of noise. I hope this is not going to bother you. And now we will try quite complicated scene. So we will try to run super demo from NVIDIA. The official name of this demo is multi-container demo. It means that in this demo we will run several scenes at the same time. There is four containers. In each of these containers there is one or multiple AI models. And so the idea is to run seven models at the same time. This demo simulates a typical robot which needs to see, for example, how many people there are around him. It also needs to know where the people pointing. It also needs to know if the people looking at him or they're looking somewhere else. And there is also the speech recognition system to, uh, to understand what the people saying. And also there is a natural language processing to understand what to answer. For this demo, we would need to install solid state disk, which goes over here. And so it's installed. And over here, I also connected the microphone. And for the microphone, I'm using this USB headset. I'm not gonna do the screen capturing for the moment because I just don't wanna perturb this demo with any additional program. Okay, let's try to run this demo. This is the first time for me. Run. So as I told you, this is a standard demo. So this is the first container. It's basically doing the people detection. So object detection of people. There is four cameras and it's counting the number of people. This one is a pause estimate or pause detection. So this is another container with another AI model. This one is gaze detection. So basically this one contains three models. 
One of this model is find out where there is a face, another one find out where there is eyes on this face and the third one find out is this eyes is looking at you or they looking somewhere else and when they looking at you they are green. And there is also two models over here. One of this model is for the speech recognition and another one is for the natural language processing. Yeah, let's see what we can do with it. So there is several topics. So how it works? There is this small text and this model it analyzes this text and from this it gives you the answer. Let's see this in practice. Where the keynote is going to be presented? At which room? <laughs> nice! Who won the Super Bowl? Where the Super Bowl was? And here I can add a new one. What is the best YouTube channel? <laughs> you see? You see? <laughs> this is really cool. And it's time for the small conclusion. Today we tested Jetson Xavier NX Developer Kit. This is a really powerful edge computer for the robot and also for our future robot arm. Today we tested the 3D vision, stereo vision with the depth camera. We also tested the tracking with the real sense camera. We saw that we can do easily object detection. We can also do some robot simulation to detect the self collision and also for the inverse and forward kinematics. We can use the voice recognition and natural language processing. And we can do all of this at the same time. So this is perfect for robot. Now what is left is to finish our robot arm, connect this computer and play with it. Thank you for watching this video till the end. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to put the like. Don't forget to put one or several comments. And also you can support my channel via PayPal or Patreon. All the links in the description to this video. And by the way, here are the people who supported me on Patreon. Thanks to these people I can do such kind of videos and thanks to them my channel is alive. Stay safe. Good luck with your projects and see you next time.